Welcome back, survivors, or I should probably say by this point, welcome back, hunters, to Carnivore's Triassic. We're continuing along with the game, and as you can see up at the top there, I did quite a bit of grinding on my own to get a few points, so we're going to be able to show you some proper new stuff this episode. So let's just open up Hunt and see what we've got. So with the 280 to work from now, we're going to leave Panoramos and go to Mfutu, or what is it, Mfuto Island. Lush and plentiful during the wet season, but dry as a bone during the dry. Mfuto... That's going to be so hard to pronounce until I get it. Mfuto only looks like a paradise. The strange geological formation scattered about may be used as sniping posts for hunters or cover for predators. So we'll be going there. And before I do go into animals, because you can see I have a whole bunch lined up there, I want to go into weapons. Because probably not this week, or well this episode, because... I might be doing a couple of Triassics up this coming week or next week. Actually, it'd probably be next week, because I think I still have Tarkosaurus. I gotta see. Pretty soon, I think we're probably going to be doing Triassic or Carnivores a little more often per week, but... Mert the Burt, one of the viewers and subscribers to the channel, put out a bit of a mod pack to alter some of the weapons. I believe they were the regular pistol, the revolver... And I can't remember what the last one was, if I'm honest. I don't think it was the Spaz 15, or the, well, yeah, I guess that is just Spaz, or Spaz. I don't think it was the RSP. It might have been the M40, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, as you've heard and seen me say about the pistols and that, I've always felt that a rifle is the best means of hunting anything, so we're going to do that. And I am going to turn on a couple modifiers. Ooh, I could actually... No, actually I can't do double ammo, but... Now, because we've kind of been going down the animals list here from each, we're going to click on the Placerius, and maybe the Herrerasaurus. Just give us a little bit of different... Actually, maybe we'll even hit as many as we can. There we go. That's a nice little loadout, so we can go after a lot of things. And now that we finally have a rifle, this is going to be a much different little experience for us. I'm actually kind of surprised that you don't get anything with really good firepower until the M40, but... This is probably going to be a loadout, and we're going to just go in, have some fun, and try to hunt down Placerius at least this episode. A little more development, and see if we can slowly work our way down to some of our big hitters, such as the Postasuchus, and... I guess the mascot for Triassic, the Lion Sternus. So with that, let's hit hunt and get into it. Okay, that should be everything loaded up now, so let's grab our binoculars and take a little look around. Just going to get out of crouch, because sometimes you spawn in and there are animals right around you, and sometimes those are carnivores. That's actually one of the ways I kind of grinded up the... Let me just get the call. So Placerius is what we'll go after. As you can see, this is a much more different map than Panoramos. This is very flat. Very far that you can see without any too many bumps or hills in the way. But anyway, how I kind of grind was I kept the rifle on, didn't really put on any of the modifiers like the camouflage or cover scent, and just turned on what licenses I could and kind of did on... Escape, restart, escape, restart until there was either a carnivore that came chasing at me I was able to easily kind of take down or herbivore I could get the shots off on. And I did that for quite a few points just so that way I could kind of get us up to this point now. I don't think I'll need to do that too much more or it'll probably take a little longer just because now I have a bigger range of dinosaurs added to our hunt roster. So for now we're basically just going to kind of... Oh. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. Got a Herrerasaurus right there. So he is one of the carnivores in the game that can be pretty fast. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Waking up about an hour ago and going into recording is not exactly easy on the throat. Let him get a little too close there, but there is our first Herrera source. As you can see, really nice red on the back for the model. 
actually see the eye and the teeth with some details to there, so that's pretty good for considering the age of the game and that. And for a user mod, that is still superb work. So we'll let the dropship pick that up and see how we're still doing. We got one, two, three, four, five more shots left in us, so we can probably take down something else too. I found the Herrerasaurus are the easier one to take down just because of their size. Coelophysis are usually two or three shots, but that can still be a little tough just because of their sizing and their shape. And the thing about Mafudo Island is that it's really a weird layout like this. Like, you can see that it's a lot of water in between little divots and addles and or atolls. I wonder what the pronunciation is for that. I can... Have you guys ever run into that, that when you want to spell a word, it's much easier to write it out than actually try to say it for spelling? Oh, is that just a little Lystrosaurus running around? Like for atoll, I know it's A-T-O-L-L. So pronunciation a little bit. But if you have longer words, like, try saying spelling out something like Ankylosaurus. Actually, that's actually pretty easy. A-N-K-Y... A-N-K-Y-L-O-S-A-U-R-U-S. -S. But you kind of run into that, don't you? You kind of lose track somewhere along the middle of... Wait, did I forget something at the start and go over or... I don't know, I've run into that, that... Whenever I want to spell or have to do something down, I find it far easier just to write it and then I can kind of say it. But we'll keep looking around and let's see, we do want to get that Placerius, that's what we originally came for, although it may be tight on if we can get one down with the shots we have left. Yeah. Not a reply, so we're probably not one really near us. I just want to keep going this way because the wind is in our favor right now. That's one thing, too, is that the wind just seems to bounce all over the place. Like, it ha almost seems like it has a 180-degree cone that it goes back and forth along. So unless you're truly traveling in the direction of it... Oh. We got a Coelophysis on its way. Ah. That's one of the problems I have with the bumpy maps, is that sometimes you don't know how close they can get to ya. But what we'll probably do... ...is hop back into another one quickly. Because unfortunately, ah, I didn't get the points for the Herrerasaurus that we took down. I just wonder... I could try on Tatim, or Titim Waste, but... You know what, we still have to take down that Placerius, so we'll probably just do that. And not quite enough for the small pistol with us too, so maybe we'll just stick with this and go back into it and hopefully try to get a successful Placerius and maybe even Herrera source if we're lucky. Okay, that should be enough time, everything loaded up and in. A little herd of Lystrosaurs at the moment. Yeah, so as you can see, we're now on the southern end and unfortunately... We need northwest, so... We may be fighting the wind a little bit. It's hard to say unless it start, once it starts moving around. We'll try a call, though, and see what we hear back. Nothing, so we're probably not really around any Placerius. I do want to have the rifle at the ready, just because you never know when you're going to have a Coelophysis darting about on you. Could even be a Herrerasaurus, too. I very rarely... Actually, I think I've only ever had once where the Lotosaurus has ever charged us. And I think we actually... I think it was on video that we had that starting towards us on that one time. I think at least. I'm not entirely sure. But they rarely charge. But they have the tendency that they could. Placerius, though, I have not had them charge at me, ever. They've always been sprinting away and running off if I've even gotten a few shots or a shot off on one. But I was hoping we would see one soon. Let's try another call. Yeah, really nothing. No, oh, well, we got a little cabin of sorts, or a building. I haven't really seen anything around us, which 
I mean, it is okay considering we didn't see the Coelophysis and then that ran was able to run right up and get us. Oh, actually, we do got something in. Although, ah, we got the wind. I mean, it's not that... Yeah, see, even with just... You... Now, that really speaks volumes of how hard the game can be, because... Oh, crap. Whew. Well, at least we're getting Herrerasaurs, all right, but... That speaks to how hard the game can be, because... I have the slider for sensitivity and aggressive aggressiveness right down to only one tick away from very minimum. And I found that if you want the carnivores to actually do something against you, you need to have that one tick just to say they are aggressive. I don't actually think it controls their health. I know that was something we got in the comments that if you adjust the aggressivity, that kind of changes their health of sorts, but I think it's more... Not just mammies. I think it adjusts more how likely an animal might be to be aggressive towards you. Like, carnivores might have a default base that they will always be after you, or they have a larger range at which they'll turn and be aggressive. Herbivores, it probably can change the frequency they'll get angry at you. But I don't think it really affects how many shots it takes to down them. And sensitivity... Like I say, it's one tick away from nothing, so it makes me wonder what this game had to have been like when you couldn't have had a good view distance. I'm wondering even if there was something programmed that the view distance could have some effect on what they kind of detect and pick things up at. Well, right now, I am wondering where that Lotosaurus ran off to. Well, it sounds like he's just over here. So I think it's about three good shots to take down a Lotosaurus. So we'll try to get that one. Oh, and I can see a Coelophysis way, well, maybe not way off in the distance, but far enough to know that we do got to be careful. Yeah, that sent him off, so that's good. So that's the two that we'll probably use to call our hunt right here. CeeLo is just running off, and I'd rather not engage since we're only down to the one shot. So what we'll do is we'll hit little menu and do yes for exiting the area. Okay, so we do have a few more points to use, so we will pick up the USP as well. Something, if we do get charged by something like the CeeLo Physis, it's actually... Ooh, well, the firepower has really dropped down. I think it will be working towards getting the 454 next alongside the rifle. Or maybe even look going for something like, say, the M40. Well, that's quite the jumping point, but we'll try once more, because, again, still have to try to get ourselves after serious. So let's head to hunt and see what we got. Okay, so everything's loaded in from looks of it. Nope, let me see. I think the rifle is 5, yeah. So probably you keep focused on the rifle, and we're in the very top. Northwest corner, so we'll probably want to work and Unfortunately, if we want to work towards anywhere, we're probably going to have to have the wind at our back So everything will be down when could pick us up Let me just try another call for the plas Placerius and see I'm quite surprised at how hard it is to find these guys I guess unless you have them as one of the only licenses or animals listed then they might spawn in some different spots or pretty far away. I think right now they're the highest point value I can get to at 10 per unmodified 10. Because with the modifications on, I think they'll probably be closer to maybe 8 or 7. Okay, well we've been working more towards the east than that. So maybe we'll try going south to sea. Maybe we can find something more towards the southern islands than that. Can't really spot anything out and about right now, which probably for the best. Seems like the 
Herrerasaurs and the Seal of Physis have been really anxious to try to... Actually, one, the Seal of Physis managed to get the better of us and enjoyed a little snack, but we should be all right with going a little closer. Ooh, actually... Yeah, now that I do have the USB, I can show you a little bit of that change in the little weapon pack that Mert made. So you do see that it is much more zoomed in than before. I I don't really have a side-by-side -side I can put up to show you, but it you do see much better that you're zoomed in on the pistol, and you feel like you have that nice level you want with the iron sights when you use it. I don't think the rifle got the adjustment or change to it, but I don't... I can't remember what the last weapon is that did have the changes to it. I'll have to look that up, and probably next episode I can let you guys know. Although I may do a little recording a little later in the day, just because, as I said, waking up, first thing you... Oh! There we go. Finally found one of them. Yes, maybe we'll stay still, so that way they can't really hear us all that well. I say that, I start moving again, but... We'll kind of pop squat right here. And it's just somewhere over there. And thankfully, the wind is kind of working in our favor to see it closer. But the Placerius is the biggest and the bulkiest of the creatures we can hunt right now. I am eager for the Postasuchus that we can go after... Probably next episode we will. Wait, I wonder if there are multiples over there. Because the one that we spotted it looked like it was more over that way. It might have doubled back and left, but I don't know. We'll try one more call and see how many replies back we get. Just one, so it is just him. And maybe we'll wait a little closer. Okay, that should be good there. Now, that was six shots. Although, I've usually found it's only four, but I probably got the ground on one or two of those. So, we'll head on our way over. So, I think we... Oh! Actually, we might have to... Sprint a little bit if we want to beat that dropship just to get a nice little look at it. Yeah, so you can see he's basically like a rhino rhinoceros dinosaur in a way. Tusks out the side of the mouth, but big, bulky body, large sizing. Just a very good animal for carnivores to be a, hunt a huntable species. And we do still have the four shots. So I don't... I almost want to try going after Seal of Pisces, just to kind of say we can best the little bugger that got us that time. No replies. Probably for the best, considering we want to be very careful with that one. Because unless you successfully end your hunt, you'll lose all the points that you've earned from it. So we have enough ammunition that we can probably go after one more animal, and we'll try to get that done this episode and end things off here like that. Make our way back along, and I'll have to see how many points I have when I do the next recording session, because we've showcased the Herrerasaurus now, the Placerius, we've gotten one, it might be time to even try another island with another species. Or even... I don't know if I want to go back to Panoremos. Just because, for being a beginner island, I feel the geography is a little too unforgiving. Just because of how bumpy it is. Because it's not only that it's kind of hard for you to see what's around you. I wonder if I can even... Oh, I might be able to climb up this. Oh yeah, I was able to. Oh, just a little Lystrosaurus was that the animals, as they're moving and running towards you, that will really shift your aim up and down, try to follow them along the curve of the geography. So I would feel like Panoremos would be a little bit of a harder difficulty island because of just how jagged and rugged it is, compared to somewhere like Mfudo, where you have more gradual slopes and things, so you can kind of watch whatever's coming towards you easier. 
Oh, come on, we can kind of hop our way up this, can't we? I thought we could, but maybe not. Okay, there's got to be somewhere we can get our way out of here. Uh oh Okay, well, I thought I got stuck down there. Uh-oh. Uh, I think our hunt might be over sooner than I... Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I think our hunt's over because I got ourselves trapped inside that little crater there, but we seem to be all good now. And I'll go eh, maybe just a couple more minutes unless we spot something. If we don't, then we'll probably end that little expedition there just that way we have more points under our belt and gives us another chance to go after something else. Maybe we'll even do a solo license hunt and go after the post of Sucus. But after this one, I will give my throat a little bit of rest. Because unfortunately, I am a little behind on how I normally like to do recording sessions. I had a longer stretch where I wasn't able to record. So I do have to do a lot of stuff like Dino System, Subnautica. I have to see how Parkosaurus does. Because it's, it's not a bad series, but it also isn't exactly getting too much views or attention to it. I do want to have a nice mix on the channel, so what I might even do is after this Carnivores go up on Saturday, I might make it car two videos on Carnosaur per... Er, bleh. Carnosaur, I'm thinking of Total War there. <clears throat> My throat kind of... Oh! Oh, I was talking and not looking. But prime example of the terrain also hiding some nasties. So we'll kind of let that go to menu. We at least hunted one if we didn't kind of get the points for it. But Carnivores will probably be another two episodes per week, and I might go back to doing one-shot Saturdays in a way, for just finding a, finding a game that I can do a single video on, kind of showcase it, and then keep some variety going through the channel. But other than that, that's probably just how things will slowly go along with it. In the meantime, though, with this episode done, I want to thank you all very much for joining and watching along. If you do have any kind of tips or tricks to make this a little better with how I keep getting hunted instead of doing the hunting, be sure to let me know. These damn coelophysis are really going to get me aggravated at them. I might even have to go shotgun and just call them in to blast them a bit, but we'll see what comes next episode. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and as always, take care and stay alive.